Hi, my name is Chad Weiner, and I'm a solution architect at Alithia Fullscope. In this video, we'll be covering the Dynamics 365 for Field Service Schedule Board and how you can take advantage of it to manage and dispatch your work orders and any other entities you'd like to schedule. The Schedule Board is a drag and drop interface for scheduling and rescheduling work orders and again, any other entities via universal resource scheduling. You can filter resources by type, by service, by territory, or even by characteristics. And the schedule settings allows for configuration of the dispatcher time zone, grouping of resources, and each individual dispatch manager can have their own schedule board and tailor it to meet their needs. There are a few ways to schedule work orders or records within the schedule board. The first is manually by either dragging or dropping from the list at the bottom or from the map on the right as well as you can book from a slot directly on the schedule board. There are other actions you can take to easily reassign or update the status of a work order, and you can move work orders that are not complete to a future date. You can also leverage the schedule assistant, which helps you find the appropriate resources, and it applies constraints like duration, radius, what are the start and end times, and what territory and resources should apply. So if you have a work order and you need help scheduling it, the scheduling assistant will tell you who's nearby, what their travel time is, and it'll make sure that they're appropriate resources for you. We'll demo the first two during this video. And the third is called Resource, Resource Scheduling Optimization, RSO. This is an add-on that leverages Azure to evaluate the routes, and it automatically books records based upon objectives and constraints, such as if your objective is to maximize work hours while minimizing travel time, it can automatically book the routes and assign them to the appropriate resources so that their routes are optimized. This benefits our automated scheduling. You can achieve scale, and if you're looking to reduce miles driven and gain technician efficiencies, this is a great tool for you. It's a great tool if you are scheduling multiple work orders throughout the day, and you just want your dispatch managers to focus in on the high needs or last minute work orders that need scheduling. Let's dive into a demo and see how the schedule board works. So here we are in Dynamics 365 for field service. We're gonna go ahead and navigate to the schedule board so we can view our unscheduled and scheduled work orders and go ahead and do some scheduling. Now in this scenario, I'm logged in as a dispatch manager so we can go ahead and minimize that to give us larger screen real estate. And we'll notice we can see different attributes around our work orders. We can see a map for different locations and routing. We have the bottom list down here for our different work orders that can have different list views. So maybe we have open ones, we have unscheduled ones, we have ones waiting for parts and other various lists and filtered lists that you may have. You can see your resources here that are available for booking, as well as we have about the top different schedule boards that are available. So out of the box, this initial public view becomes available, but you can then filter these by resources, by territories, by work location, um, so that each dispatcher or location can have their own board, but then um, you can share these boards and certain managers can have access to all boards so that if somebody is out or you need to schedule jobs for another location, you have easy access to their board. In this uh, particular example, we're gonna focus on scheduling work orders at our Raleigh locations. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the Raleigh schedule board to show us a filtered list of work orders and resources that are tied particularly to Raleigh. We're gonna go ahead and click the expand button to give us a little bit larger view. And uh, on the left, we have the map view. So if we zoom in, we can see the purple are all of our different locations throughout the US. In this particular case, everything's been filtered down to Raleigh. We can see we have two service locations in Raleigh and in Jacksonville. And as we hover over various icons, uh, they give us more information about that record. These are completely uh, configurable. They're just CRM views that you would add your additional attributes on, uh, and they are referenced in these. So the blue, uh, the red question marks are unscheduled work orders. The trucks are gonna be current locations. So Kelly's location is there. And as we zoom in, the different colored ones with checkboxes have already been 
scheduled for the various resources that are color coded here. As we hover over, again, more icons, we can see information about the bookings, the open requirements, as well as where certain technicians are using the mobile application. We also can switch to the filter pane, which is going to allow us to filter these resources by certain characteristics. Or do they have this certification? Do they have the ability to access building 12 or roof level? Uh, or maybe if we have our resources broken by roles, we can select only our consulting leads or our network technicians. As uh, mentioned, this is our Raleigh board, so everything's going to be filtered to Raleigh. And then we have additional filtered characteristics as well. We can change how the map and the schedule resources are laid out, whether it's horizontal, vertical, as well as if we right click, we can see a particular resource card for maybe emailing, messaging, uh, or quickly identifying what skills or roles that resource has. As we scroll back to today, we can see that there have been work orders scheduled throughout the day today, and we can leverage the legend here at the bottom to see green, how are in progress, they're being worked on. This blue means that the technician is on break. This light blue, it's been completed. Uh, and then these blue ones have been scheduled and the red is traveling. So with the mobile application, field technicians can be completing, updating all of their work order status and notes so that the home base dispatch manager knows exactly what's going on. Let's go ahead and schedule one or a couple of work orders. As we mentioned earlier, there's a couple of ways to schedule a work order. You can manually drag and drop a work order onto the schedule board to the particular resource, and it'll automatically go ahead and create that booking for you. You can also grab a pin and drag that onto the schedule board. So those are the two ways you can manually schedule one. If you'd like to use the resource scheduler, you can pick a particular work order down here. In this case, we'll pick our bell one. As you notice, it indicates the work order is right here, and we can click Find Availability. Now this is going to search the current resources, look at their current bookings, look at where they're finishing up, what skill set they have available, and it'll tell us that each of these resources they can be fit in, um, and we can go ahead and book this. It looks like we don't have any availability on Sunday where we're booking today, so we can go ahead and get this booked for Monday. Clicking book will automatically book this work order for Ashley. and we can exit the search and continue booking on. As mentioned, you can have different views of work orders here. So maybe we wanna look at particular work orders where the parts have been received and they need scheduling, and we can do that as well. Now, as we drag a work order onto the board, we can have communication going out to the customer as well. Uh, we can also have crew booking. So here is a crew, and we can see in this particular case, I can go ahead and book this out to the crew. And now what's nice is that these can trigger certain points within Dynamics 365 to cause maybe email or SMS notifications going out to your customer if um, they opt in and you have that configured. So in this example, we'll show you um, what it looks like to get a text message received from the customer. So here we are looking at my cell phone and we just received a text from your field service company saying, hi, Benjamin, your work order has been scheduled for today, 3.31 at 2 p.m. and it's been assigned to Chad Weiner. We'll notify you of, of any changes. And so the technician has now, using the mobile app, begun traveling, they've completed their last work order, and they've updated the work order using their mobile app to indicate that they're traveling. So you just saw behind the scenes to the right, that work order went from blue to red, and we're gonna be getting a text message here saying that the, that the technician is in route to the service location. 
Once the technician has arrived, they'll change the work order status from traveling to in progress. That will initiate another text message. And again, we'll see in the background that work order change from red to green. And there comes in that second test message that says our service technician is in route to your location. So this is what they got when they were traveling. And again, if we're using something like an add-on like Glimpse, we can let the customer track the location of the technician. Once they've arrived and they have started the work, they can indicate that they've started the work and the customer will get a text message saying that the work order has been done. And then when the technician has completed the work order from the mobile device, we can send a text message or an email to the customer letting them know that the work has been completed. And maybe if we're using voice of the customer survey, we can include a survey link for them to capture how we did or if we did poorly, what we can improve next time. And we'll see that last text message come in that'll have that link. Thank you, your work order has been completed. There's no additional information at this time. And if we click on that link, it's gonna take us to a voice of the customer survey where we can capture overall satisfaction and if they would recommend our services to capture net promoter score and they can easily submit that from their laptop or mobile device. Thank you for watching this video overview of Dynamics 365 for Field Service and the Schedule Board. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account director. Thank you.